Good morning, everyone. Uh, we're going to do this beautiful uh, sunset. This is in Rockport, Mass. Um, wonderful color. It's, a, it's an advanced uh, painting, so uh, don't beat yourself up if you have trouble with it. <clears throat> Try it a few times. All right, we'll do a simple drawing here. This is just, uh, you know, it's a seascape. Horizon is just above the center. We have a pretty exciting sky there, so. That's a little bit of the seashore. And then we have this big, big mass of rocks in the front. A little piece of land in the back with some houses. And not much drawing to it. Just enjoy it. All right, we'll get right into painting. Uh, some Aurelian yellow with a little touch of cadmium red, some raw sienna, just getting some really warm color in the sunset sky there. That's a, 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 a brush of cadmium red, very light Aurelian yellow in the sky. So just let it all come down, soften that edge, let it all mix into a beautiful warm. And this is the reflection that the color's coming down into the water. So this is a little bit of rose, a little bit of cadmium red, a little bit of a really yellow, just nice orangey color. It's gonna dry up so light, so have fun with it. Just let it come. All right, it's not quite dry. I'm adding some, this is cobalt blue, uh, and obviously you can see it turns gray right away with the orange. Uh, so don't let it run down too far. I'm re retilting my board, so it doesn't uh, have that incline so it runs so it's, it's pretty flat right now okay get enough paint on this so that it will uh, it's going to dry so much lighter so be careful leave room for your uh, sunlight to come through there in the clouds this is the bottom layer of clouds which is very light you know it's a cobalt blue with a pinch of rose in it uh, so it's a little bit of a violet now I'm going in with a damp brush here and I'm just picking up the light under the clouds. It's, it's obviously still wet there. This is a very important part of it, you know, understanding that you can lift off and bring the light back. Another run of cad red across that bottom while I'm taking that, taking that color out. All right, I'm gonna use a little stiffer brush so you can really bring the light out here, which is beautiful. It's obviously stronger right in the center where the, where the sun is shining through. All right, much same colors, uh, cobalt blue. Little, I think I'd put a pinch of um, uh, ultramarine in there as well, and some rose. Very, very dark, much darker, letting it come down. And again, even heavier ultramarine, a little bit of cad red in there, uh, very violet. Okay, and now some, just a little water, a little water loosening up that edge, letting it come down, going back in with a towel here, because that, you know, when it's moist, you know that color starts to run back in and we want that light to come out, so. All right, same color uh, down in the water here. Don't go all the way to the edge, just, you know, a couple of strokes in the back and then rinse out your brush and just pick up the water with a little orange color on it and pull that down. Just, just let that come down, a little orange or reddish color in there. But very light, see the difference in the value there. I will right, we'll bring that right over. This is a beach. Uh, so there's a little bit of a little bit of sand showing there, pink sand, and this comes over to the to the beach itself, which is really just dark. It's very dark back there. Okay, keep that nice and loose, and and use you know use a lot of water. Always go in lighter, you know, if you can. Uh, this is the sand. We'll make a beach front here can't really see the color of the sand it's just everything's tinted by the, the light of the sky so 
Okay, we'll leave that little piece that's showing pop a, a strip of red along the edge. Okay, all right, we're gonna get the rocks in. Now the rocks, uh, I'm putting an underpainting here of um, um, quinacridone sienna. Beautiful color, nice and warm uh, under the rocks, so that'll be beautiful. But that'll be the underpainting. And this is, believe it or not, that's just more co cobalt blue I added to the quinciana. You can see it there. And I'm, I'm adding cobalt blue because there's a cool light hitting the top of it. I think it's cool, <laughs> I'm not sure. It, it, I think we're gonna make it, it's tinted by the skylight, so. But that's all cobalt blue I'm washing in there. Okay, you can see it there, much lighter. That stuff in the back is very light, so. All right, just letting it come down. Adding some darker color. Leaving that space for the uh, this little reflective pool there, we'll leave underneath. I dragged out the credit card. You know, you can use any kind of um, stiff uh, sort of board. You know, just a stiff piece of plastic, or even a you know you can use a single edge razor here. But don't cut yourself. A right, very light squeegee. Don't dig in. Don't don't push it. Just use the texture of the paper there. And now I'm, I'm just using some quinacridone sienna and some ultramarine, got that black, creating those cracks and crevices on the top of that rock uh, formation. And it's all instinctive. Don't, you know, don't try to study out the rocks on, on the photo. Just look at it and be inspired by the, you know, d different shapes. All right, putting some color in the pool there. Just ultramarine, very dark reflection. All right, dark in the back, there's a streak. I'm putting a streak. This is ultramarine with quinciana, very dark. And then on the top, I'm charging that color up with a deep rose, okay? This is quinacridone rose and, and that dark black. So you get a nice highlight on that uh, row of land and houses and just Use, uh, use some rows to create the, the buildings in the background. Come on, Paul, you can do it. Yeah. Just get some nice buildings in there, houses. People paid millions of dollars for those homes. Take your time with them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just suggest an outline of the houses. All right. I'm going in with some cobalt blue here on the on the turn of the rocks to pick up some of that cool color, letting that mix with the uh, quinciana and the dark ultramarine, and just bringing it up. It all turns down, so you want to you want to watch that. And I'm I'm looking at it, and I'm I'm seeing that you know that sky is so warm. I think it's. It's really a warm reflection on those rocks, so I'm turning it in. I'm using some of that color back to create a beach, uh, a little more of a sand beach back there. Okay, you can see it's drying up. All right, now this little piece of land that sticks out from the rocks, I'm gonna add that because I think that it needs something beyond these, uh, this cliff of rocks, that we're, this mound of rocks that we're, we've painted. It needs something going out into the water. So this is just the gray, uh, you know, ultramarine and putting a little red onto that reflection, a little more color all along the edge of the water. Maybe another strip. You wanna get some strips some rose, rose of color in the water. Okay, and it's adding a nice touch. Okay, a little bit there. Yeah, 
this is a beautiful scene. It takes practice to uh, to master clouds, boy. It really, uh, you're really in the hands of the watercolor. The color really takes control, and you don't want to try to control it. You know, just let it do its thing. Just restating that beach, getting more sense of of sand, and you know that the arch of the surf and so forth. Okay, so finally, I'd like to put a few lights on out there in the houses. So this is just. I'm using cadmium orange right out of the tube. You just put a little dot with a little reflection onto the water. It really adds a nice, nice little touch of uh, humanity to your paintings here, you know. Just people living out there and beautiful, beautiful scene. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. I think this was a little bit advanced, so uh, I hope you, you know, did it and challenged yourself and I look forward to seeing your work. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate you watching. And I will see you again very soon. Thank you so much.